sweet little grandma, Sandra Treadway, has gone from baking cookies to cooking up a murder. Hiring this tatted hitman to snuff out Lindsey Grindle, the mama of her grandson. I'll call you when it's done and I'll collect the rest of the money. But what Sandra doesn't know... Target's back in her vehicle. Her parking lot liaison is a sting. She agreed to it and paid. The man who set it all up is an informant for police. And the hitman, he's an undercover cop. Now they're negotiating the price for the murder. This investigator was very believable. He could put some actors to shame. Yes, ma'am. They can. The covert op should be enough to bust Sandra. But then grandma calls the hired gun with one more gruesome request. I said before I didn't want no picture, but I think I do. I don't have a problem with that. OK. I didn't figure you did. She wanted proof of death, which was going to be a picture after the murder was supposedly committed. Time was of the essence. Yes, it was, because Sandra knew we were going to be doing the murder that night, so it was time was not on our side. Sharp has a bright idea, but they'll need help from an unlikely source. It's Lindsey Grindle, the target of Grandma Sandra's evil scheme. They asked me if I knew who Sandra Treadway was. I said, yes, sir. And he was holding a, a packet in his hand. He said, well, she has put out a hit on you. He showed me a little bit of the, like the first few pages of the packet, like a picture of my house and a few other things, and then it, it just hit. I couldn't say nothing. And they explained to me, okay, well, she wants proof. Can you help us? So I just looked at my daughter and I thought about my son. I said, I, I gotta do what I have to do to protect my kids. So I agreed to help them. And helping out the cops meant staging her own murder. Sandra wanted proof that the murder had taken place, so investigators used this spot to stage a murder. They set my car facing, like, the woods, had my driver's side door propped open, and had me lay down execution style. And then they poured the blood on me and made it look like I was shot a few times in the back. How did you feel during this time? What were your emotions? Was this difficult? Very. I really words to explain how I felt or what was coming through my head at that time. Except other than just I had to protect my kids. When you did all this and you got the blood on her back, you had real murder investigators here to make sure it looked real. Between the, the investigators that were involved in this and the undercover, we all have several years of experience of investigating crimes, which involved murders, suicides, so we try to make it as believable as possible. Cops hit send on their camera phones, and Sandra gets her grisly photographic trophy. Did you get the picture? Yeah. Then she meets again in the parking lot to make final payment. All right. I'll we'll see you again. Minutes later, cops slam the cuffs on the grim granny and find she's already been busy covering her tracks. She'd erased the text messages by the time we made contact with her. But you had your evidence. Yeah, I already had the text message. She didn't know it. She didn't believe me. I mean, when I told her, you know, the guy you hired to kill Lindsay was an undercover federal agent working for DEA. Sandra Treadway is booked for criminal solicitation to commit murder. And in the ultimate sad irony, the grandson she so desperately wanted to keep is returned to Lindsay's care. District Attorney Eric Jett takes Sandra to trial with a mountain of evidence. She knew what she wanted, and, and she was determined to get that result here. This was clear cut. As close as it can be in my mind. But Sandra's son, Matt, says there's more, much more to this story. This is why it's happened. She was set up. Not only set up, but entrapped. Sandra claims it was Matt's buddy, the informant, an ex-con with a long rap sheet who tricked her into taking the bait. They admitted to that in court, that they paid him $500 to set this up. And he did it by driving the grandmother into a frenzy of fear. 
She wasn't expecting to walk away from there. She was expecting that guy to kill her right there on the spot. Next, from courtroom to Crime Watch Daily hot seat. Did you want Lindsay dead then? Have you ever wanted Lindsay dead? And a grandma's reason for the crime? You're not gonna believe it. You were doing this to save your family. <laughs> In a Crime Watch Daily first, this just convicted felon faces our cameras literally moments after sentencing. Sandra is no longer hysterical, but the harsh reality of her fate has only begun to sink in. What just happened inside that room? I was sentenced to 720 months at prison. 60 years. I've not calculated it yet. 